Bethan's Kitchen and Garden. I am Bethan and today I'm continuing with my squash, my cooking of my squash in my kitchen. And the recipe I'm going to do today is a squash and red pepper soup, which couldn't have been easier really. It couldn't, really couldn't be easier. You just chop everything up and put it on to cook. And that is it. Um, I don't cook with butter or oil um, often, I do occasionally, but for something like this where I just want um, an, an intake of the vegetables essentially without the choo choo choo, um, and I can get it into my children as well, um, this is ideal. So let me show you the ingredients uh, I need and how I'm going to do it. Here's what you need for this recipe. I've got well, I've got a few leeks here, but I would say this is probably the equivalent of three medium-sized leeks. I've got three medium-sized carrots, one red pepper, uh, some roasted squash, which um, I did in a previous video. So if you want to have a look how I roasted the squash, go ahead. Uh, one stock cube. I probably use half this celeriac. Or if you've got celery, then use um, three or four stalks of celery and some salt and pepper. So all I've done with the vegetables is just prep them. So I've washed the leeks and cut them down um, the length. And I've um, peeled the celeriac and I'm just going to use the half. The same with the pepper. Just chopped the pepper down and took out the core and the carrots. I've just topped and tailed and I'm going to chop them all up and put them into this pan here. So I'll show you that when I'm done. I don't think you need to see me chopping all these vegetables because, um, you know, it's a, it's a bit boring really, isn't it? So I'll, I'll bring you back in a minute. So here are all the vegetables uh, cut up into the pot apart from the squash. Um, which I'll add about five minutes before the end of cooking time. And I'm just going to cover it all up to the level of the vegetables with water. And then I shall put it on, bring it to a boil, and then lower to a simmering heat, so about a medium heat after it's been brought to the boil. If I was using uncooked squash, I would just add the squash at the same time. So I would just add it all and cook it all up together. So the soup is bubbling away now. It's taken about two minutes to come to the boil. I'm just going to add my um, OXO stock cube. Other varieties are available. Um, if you don't want to use stock cube, that's absolutely fine. I have tried this before without a stock cube. And I just found a bit of stock did, um, did lift it a little bit. Um, but it was perfectly fine without, it was lovely without. I just, I think I just, I'm always in the habit of putting a stock cube in my soup, so I always do. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to add the, um, the stock powder. Or similarly, if you've got homemade stock, you could have used that at the very beginning. Instead of the water. I'm also going to add some salt. And some pepper. I will check it again for um, seasoning when I've added the pumpkin at the end and blended it all. I'll just try it and see if it needs a bit more seasoning at that point and add it if needed. I'm going to turn that down and I'm just going to leave the lid on but just slightly off to one side otherwise the, um, the condensation will leak all over my hob and then I'll have to tidy up which I don't like doing. However, I am going to tidy up now and get on with making um, sandwiches for uh, to accompany the soup. So I'll bring you back in about 15 minutes when this soup should be done. 
this has had about 15 to 20 minutes now so i'm just going to check i mean they should be done i always check with the carrots because the carrots take the longest if the carrots are cooked and i can put a knife through them easily then i know they're done and they will um, blend up nicely so i'm going to go and put the rest of the squash in I'm just going to give that about three or four minutes to heat up and then I'll blend it all together. And now for the final taste check. That's very nice. That's very nice indeed. My daughter will love that. It's, how can I put it, it's sweet and savoury at the same time. Um, but with all the healthy veg in it as well. I can't really tell you what it tastes like you just have to make it and try it yourself um, because uh, it, it is it is worth giving a go um, just a note on the consistency I make my soup quite thick I always do make it quite thick because sometimes it's um, nice enough and thick enough to like put some pasta in and have with um, some sauce have as a pasta sauce I mean um, which I might well do with this today. Um, but at the moment, I shall give it to Anne Wen and let her tell you what she thinks. Hopefully, she'll think it's okay. <laughs> While I'm waiting for Anne Wen's soup to um, cool down, I just thought it was worth mentioning that um, this recipe gives about um, five to six portions of uh, soup. So we've had five to six portions of the soup. We had five portions of the risotto and we had four portions from the two, uh, the Thai squash curry I made. So out of that one Turks turban, we've had, quick add up, was that four, nine, uh, 15, 15 meals out of the one Turks turban. So, uh, I really suggest that you get sowing some Turks turban this year, not right at this moment in January, wait until um, April, but um, I do recommend growing a Turks turban squash. It is really, really, really yummy. Now let's go see what Anwen makes of this soup if it's cooled down enough. Okay, when I eat it. Yeah, you eat it. Now blow on it. Is it cold? We'll have a little try, what do you think? No, it's not cool enough yet, is it? <gasps> and what do you think of the actual soup? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> is it nice? No, it's hot. It's too hot, is it? What do you think? Still too hot. Yeah. But is it nice? Yeah. Yeah? All right, we'll take that then. Well, I think that's all the uh, critics' response we're going to get from Anwen today because it's a bit too hot for her to try. Uh, I, like I said, I really hope you give these recipes a go and, um, and that you really enjoy them. And let me know what you think and let me know if you do um, try the recipes out for yourselves. Um, as I've said in a lot of the recipes, you can um, 
use different ingredients if there is a uh, if there is something you don't really don't like in there because however nice you make the food if you don't like an ingredient you're not going to like that recipe so um i would recommend swapping the turks turban if you can't get hold of a turks turban for a butternut squash but all i can say about that recipe is lovely job